And time for celebration, and perhaps more importantly for the Cavs, who are a bit banged up. Time for a chance to rest a little bit before they play their opponent in the conference final. So the Cleveland Cavaliers are back in the conference final. Tom Thibodeau, perhaps in his final game as head coach of the Bulls, as the Cavs win the series four games to two. James will head to his fifth consecutive conference final. He was one rebound shy of a triple-double. Derrick Rose, good sign for the Bulls going forward is that he stayed healthy throughout the playoffs. And that will be key with Rose and Noah's health next year. Right now, let's go to Lisa Salters with LeBron James. Thank you, Mike. LeBron, like every other game in the series, we just kept waiting for them to make a run. It didn't happen. What allowed you guys to be so dominant tonight in their building? Defensively, obviously another offensive uh, struggle for us as a team. But when we defend at a high level, we're going to give ourselves a great chance to win every single night. And we did that tonight once again. Your backup point guard was forced to play most of the game, ended up being the team's high scorer. For the people who don't know, tell the world who Matthew Delavadova is. Uh, Matthew Delavadova. He grew up playing rugby, so you know he's the toughest guy on the team. Went to St. Mary's out west, and uh, you know he had a magical shot in the tournament, if people remember. Uh, and then he's just a guy that works extremely hard, man. And you know we're blessed to have a guy like that. We're blessed to have our whole team that just. It doesn't matter when their number's called, they're always ready. Did you see that kind of performance in him? Well, I know he's tough as nails, and the one thing about Delhi, he never makes a mistake because how hard he plays. If he makes one mistake, then you're okay with that because of how hard he plays and how in tune he is. So I'm so happy for him. I'm so proud of him for him to have a performance like he had tonight in the absence of Kyrie. Now, looking ahead, this is going to be your fifth consecutive Eastern Conference Finals. What are you going to tell your young guys about this next challenge? Well, they passed the first two challenges, even surprising me a little bit. Um, we got a young group that's very hungry, and we're still, the, even though we're the most unexperienced group that's still left in this field, these guys love to learn. They love to play for one another. And uh, I'm going to tell them to get off their feet for the next couple of days because we need it. We got some bumps and bruises, but we will get back to work and, and wait for our next opponent. Congratulations, Steve. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Mike. So they'll await the winner of Atlanta, Washington. If they play Washington, they'll have home court advantage against the Wizards. As you saw the hug between Delavadova and James. If they play Atlanta, the Hawks would have the home court advantage. The season series really at this point doesn't mean a heck of a lot, but home court certainly does. But more importantly, as LeBron James said, they'll get some rest, especially for the banged up Kyrie Irving. So the Cleveland Cavaliers in six games advanced to the conference finals with a 94-73 victory here in game six. Coming up next, game six between the Rockets and Clippers from L.A. Mike Tirico and Yubi Brown will have the call. So for Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, Lisa Salters, producer Tim Corrigan, director Jimmy Moore, and our entire ESPN crew, Mike Green saying so long from Chicago. Coming up next, we'll join our studio after the break as the Cavs advance to the next round of the NBA playoffs.